Uh, Iron Man says Salat is not a ritual. Well, that, well, it can be an opinion as well. It depends, it depends what you define as uh, a ritual. For instance, when we say ritual, ritual is a prescribed procedure for conducting religious ceremonies. That is a ritual. Or you can say any customary observance or practice. So Salat on its own, yes, we can, it's debatable, but we can define it as ritual when you say Salat, because it didn't start from us. It started from Abraham. Quran chapter 14, verse 40, where he says, so anything that has been established and has to be passed down by through generations and it keeps coming and people have to, you know, conform with it, that in its own religiously becomes a, a, a ritual. Unless if somebody doesn't know the definition of a ritual or doesn't know what a ritual means, like I repeat, the prescribed procedure for conducting religious ceremony. For instance, if I have to go for the Salat, God says in Quran chapter 5, verse 6, kuntum ila salat. When you get up for the Salat, then wash your faces, wash your hands to the elbows, wipe your hairs, and then your, 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 your krura, that is your legs, right? So if I have to do this ritualistic thing in order to approach the Salat, the Salat on its own is a ritual, but I won't limit Salat to say it's a prayer. No, I, I wouldn't limit it and say Salat is prayer. No, I wouldn't do that. But to say Salat is not a ritual, well, you have your own understanding, right? Uh -huh. But like I said, I'm available for dialogue. Uh, if you think you know better, you can just arrange that dialogue life with me. We break down the instances you give me, I'll ask you a simple question. How did Prophet Ibrahim did this Salat? How did Muhammad did this Salat? You come and break it down for him, us. Because God says the book is a clarification for all things. I know some people, especially some people who don't, uh, uh, don't have in-depth knowledge in studying the Arabic uh, Quran. What they do is they will, they will go to some Quran corpus, try to break down their own new meanings, and then they will tell you, Oh, you know, Salat means uh, 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 to follow something closely. Whilst forgetting that, in Arabic, one word doesn't only have one meaning. You have to check the context. Just like in the Quran, when you take the word ayat, uh, the word ayat or ayat, it can mean a sign, it can mean a symbol, it can mean a verse, it can mean a wonder, a miracle, and so on. So based on the context being addressed at a particular given time, it can become a ritual. Then in another notion, when it is used as a verb, it can have a different meaning when it's mentioned. So just because it's mentioned in a particular instance in this form and you break it down in that form doesn't necessarily mean it cannot mean something else like that. For instance, the word haram in the Quran, it can mean forbidden. It can mean sacred. It can mean holy. It can mean a lot sanctioned a, a, a lot you understand but when you have somebody who has a shallow mind in understanding the arabic quran they'll tell you oh, how can haram means forbidden and means uh uh you know sacred at the same time no i don't understand this well we have a long way to go <laughs>